Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this wonderful arrow stitch, which I'm finding hard to kind of get through the texture on this video. I really hope that you can see it. Uh, it has these beautiful arrow stitches, raised arrow stitches throughout the pattern. Uh, has a great texture to it. It doesn't quite look the same on the front as the back, but it's beautiful all the same. It would work well in a variety of projects from blankets to shawls, uh, market bags, even garments, cardigans, scarves, the like. So I can't wait to see what you do with this stitch. Today we're going to learn how to work it using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of cotton yarn called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. You can use, of course, whatever hook and yarn you would like. Uh, you will also find in the description of this video the link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, say hello down in the comments, and let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. Let's get started. Our tutorial today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by working a slip knot. And for the pattern, we're going to need a stitch multiple in our foundation chain of three stitches and then add two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23 stitches. Twenty-three. Once you have the number of stitches required, then you're going to start off right away working some of these arrow stitches. What you're going to do is begin by working one double crochet into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five into that fifth chain. Work one double crochet. You're then going to double crochet into the next stitch. Now the chain four that was up at the beginning counts as a double crochet stitch and a uh, chain one space down at the bottom. So once you've worked your two double crochet stitches, you're going to work a double crochet stitches by work, uh, one double crochet stitch by working in front of the two stitches just worked and back into the fourth chain uh, that you skipped. So yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook into that skip chain. Now I'm bringing my hook in front and I'm inserting from the back through to the front of the stitch and this first row is a little bit tricky because you're working into these tighter chain stitches but it gets easier as you go so then yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two more so you now have two double crochet stitches plus this one that is crossed over and worked into that first skip stitch you're then going to skip the next chain and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And there's one and two. Now once again, working in front of the stitches just worked and back into that skipped chain, work one double crochet. So yarn over, Bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook, and again I'm going from the back through to the front, yarn over, draw up your loop, 
yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So you have now two sets of cross stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitch, double crochet in each of the next two stitches, then working in front, double crochet into that skip stitch, and then meet me back here. At the end of row one, you will have two stitches remaining. You're going to skip that next stitch and then double crochet into your final stitch. Chain three and turn your work. We're now going to continue working in a similar way, this time working our stitches toward the back of our work. So we're going to skip uh, that first stitch, skip the next stitch. Uh, the first stitch has our chain three coming out of it and our chain three counts as a double crochet. So skip the next stitch, then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now working in behind the stitches just worked and into that skipped stitch, work one double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook in behind those stitches and insert your hook. I'm going from the front through to the back of the stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then once again working in behind the stitches just worked and into that first skip stitch, I'll work one double crochet. So I'm bringing my hook in back, inserting my hook from the back, or from, sorry, from the front through to the back, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at the front of your work, you will see that your two arrows uh, have been completed, the first two, and you have kind of front um, double crochet stitches working in these opposite directions. So you're going to continue working like that all the way across, skip the next stitch, double crochet into each of the next two stitches, working in behind your work and into that first skip stitch, work one double crochet. Repeat that all the way across and double crochet into the top of your starting chain. I am here at the end of my row two, double crochet into the top of your turning chain, and then chain three, which counts as a stitch, and turn your work. For row three, we're going to skip the next stitch and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now working in front of the two stitches just worked and into the first skip stitch, work one double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert your hook, I'm going from the back through to the front, yarn over, drop a loop, complete your double crochet. Skip the next stitch and repeat, double crochet to each of the next two stitches. and double crochet working in front of your work back into that first skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across as you did before and double crochet into the top of your turning chain. And that's all there is to the repeat for this pattern. For the rest of the arrow stitch design, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your ends. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the arrow stitch. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting.
Bye. Mm-hmm.